Nasigi class in a atoms, atoms and nuclei do give paramani. So, is the Yaurisi Bohr's model of hydrogen atom and circular orbits, stationary orbits, quantum conditions, radius of orbits, kinetic energy of electron in the nth orbit, potential energy, total energy, frequency, and river constant, etc. So, this is the Bohr's model of hydrogen atom. This is the atom model of hydrogen theoretical model for the structural model amani sida ato ato pa thomson atom model ai rudder's force atom model ai adagi bohr atom model sina ko adagi important hoi ba du gumbo model amani then hydrogen atom ai sika no hai ta di hydrogen is the simplest atom because it consists of one proton and one electron so the Bohr ki postulates postulates ahun ka ko na ka na bhi hai ka so number one postulate is the electron is revolving around the nucleus in stationary orbit the angular momentum of the electron in the stationary orbits are quantized so the quantization condition is angular momentum mbr is equal to n h by 2 pi where n is integer 1 2 3 4 etc and it is known as principal quantum number and h is Planck's constant so according to this quantization condition angular momentum is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi and the third postulate is when an electron makes a transition from a higher orbit to a lower stable orbit the difference in the energy of the electron is radiated as the photon of energy h nu aduna nga sagi electron jina stationary orbit the revolve to ring it does not radiate energy it does not absorb energy when electron make a transition from higher energy state to lower energy state energy is radiated and when electron makes a transition from lower energy state to higher energy state it absorb energy the frequency of absorb or emitted radiation is h nu and h nu is equal to difference of the energy level now uh, let us come to uh, circular orbits we assume that the electron revolves in a circular orbit so in case of hydrogen atom So now, uh, so elect, uh, in case of hydrogen atom, we assume that the electrons revolve in a circular orbit. This is a positively charged particle. So uh, I means uh, protons is at the center of the nu at the nucleus, and electrons uh, is revolving around the nucleus in a stationary orbit. Now. The atom consists of central nucleus containing the entire positive charge and almost all the mass of the atom. The electron revolves around the electron revolves around the nucleus in certain discrete orbits. The necessary centripetal force for the circular orbit is provided by the Coulomb force between the electron and the nucleus so this uh, this is centripetal force given by mb square by r where m is mass of the electron b is the velocity of the electron and r is the 
radius and this is equal to this is Coulomb's force, force of attraction between electron and the proton. So, what is stationary orbit? The allowed orbits for the electrons are those in which the electron does not radiate energy. These orbits are also called stationary orbits. Nasagi electrons in a Nasagi stationary orbit sida revolve ringaigi matamda. As long as the electrons are revolving in the stationary orbit, there is no absorption of energy, there is no emission of energy. Now, quantum condition, say, this is also known as Bohr quantization condition. The quantization condition is the stationary orbits are those orbits in which angular momentum, MBR, is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi, where n is integer known as principal quantum number, h is Planck's constant. So, angular momentum is equal to n h by 2 pi, this is known as Bohr's quantization condition. Now, come to radius of the orbit. So, we consider uh, hydrogen atom, uh, this is the this is the nucleus in which the positive charge is there, proton is there and we consider an electron, electron, this is electron and here proton, electron is revolving, electron is revolving around the nucleus in circular orbit, right, this is electron and circular orbit is R. Now, the centripetal force, centripetal force, centripetal force Mb square by R is equal to force of attraction between electron and proton. So, by Coulomb's, Coulomb's law of electrostatics, the force of attraction between electron and proton is this by R square. So, this is equation 1 and according to Bohr's quantization condition, MBR is angular momentum is n h by 2 pi. So, this equation 2. Now, from equation 1 and 2, substituting the the value of b from equation 2 in equation 1 we get the radius of the electron in the nth orbit this is known as radius of the electron in the nth orbit and radius of the electron in the nth orbit is rn denoted by rn where n is 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to h square by epsilon naught. What is epsilon naught? Epsilon naught is permittivity of free space by m e square into n square. And up by substituting the non values, non values of epsilon naught, epsilon naught is uh, epsilon naught is say 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 and uh, Planck's constant we know Planck's constant we know pi we know mass of the electron we know charge of the electron so by substituting the non values and calculating we get finally the radius of the electron is 0 0.53 n square Armstrong. So, this is the radius of the electron. Now, when R is 1, when n is 1, R1 is this. So, this is known as Bohr radius. Bohr radius. 
So, the radius of the electrons or bit corresponding to principal quantum number 1 is known as Bohr or bit and this is uh, uh, when n is equal to 2 and this is when n equal to 3, n equal to 4 and so on. So, we can calculate the radius of the orbiting electron corresponding to the particular principal quantum number. So, if we know uh, so Bohr radius, we can calculate radius of the electron. Then, akona sigi velocity of the electron in the nth orbit. Sagi say si Bohr quantization condition the ki akona say m b r equal to n h by two pi. So si the ki b equal to n h divided by two pi m r. Si adam sumay na pangway ay. Duna ngasagi. I Nasagi can do that say centripetal force equal to say one by four pi epsilon naught say Mamangi she palaga she palaga put hockey but radius R give value to say Mamang the yogi but R give value. R value zeta ki akona we can calculate the velocity of the electron. Velocity of the electron is uh, so B n equal to B n is the velocity of the electron corresponding to principal quantum number n. So B n equal to E square by 2 h epsilon naught 1 by n. Now put c velocity of light mathak the numerator the so denominator so c absolute and we see c constant number this constant is known as fine structure constant fine structure constant and its numerical value is 1 by 137 so, velocity of the electron in the nth orbit is B n equal to fine structure constant into C by n, where C is speed of light. And the uh, numerical value is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, this is speed of light in Vacuum. So, akona, so by using this relation, putting n equal to 1, we get velocity of the electron in the first orbit. And this is the velocity of the electron in the second orbit. And third orbit and so on. Now energy. So kinetic energy kinetic energy of the electron in the nth orbit is so m b square by r equal to this. So uh, we multiply multiply by half in both side because kinetic energy is half mb square. So kinetic energy is e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r. And the potential energy, potential energy of the electron in the nth orbit is potential energy is u equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square by r. Now, we can find out total energy, total energy, total energy is 
sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy is say, E square by 8 pi epsilon naught R minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught E square by R. Because kinetic energy is always positive, kinetic energy is always positive, potential energy is negative here because charge of the electron is negative. So, the total energy becomes negative, total energy becomes 1 by 8 pi epsilon naught E square by R. So, total energy becomes negative. So, this total energy becomes a negative sign in total energy indicates that it is a bound state. The electron G is the electrostatic force of attraction the bound the way. bound system code. Now, we know the radius of the electron in the nth orbit this is this is the radius of the electron in the nth orbit and the total energy becomes en total energy energy of the electron in the nth orbit is this so after substituting r r here we get finally we get this so, this m e to the power 4 by i, this is known as, this is known as Rebock constant and uh, we can calculate the Rebock constant is this. And finally, the radius, the energy of the electron in the nth orbit. So, this is energy of the electron in the nth orbit and this is for hydrogen atom. In case of atoms, for atoms having atomic number z like hydrogen like atom. So, the energy is E n equal to minus 13.6 z square divided by n square electron volt. It is in electron volt. So, Akona, uh, Sigi, we know that energy of the for hydrogen atom the energy of the electron in the nth orbit is E n equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square E v where n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 dot dot dot. So, So, when n equal to 1, E1 equal to this and we get minus 13.6 Ev and this is known as ground state energy. And when n equal to 2, E2 equal to minus 13.6 divided by 2 square because n is 2. So, it becomes minus 3.4 and it is known as first excited state energy. And when n equal to 3, E3 equal to minus 1.51 Ev and this is known as second excited state. n equal to 4, E4 equal to minus 0 0.85 Ev and this is known as third excited state and so on. Now, what is frequency of emitted radiation? Mamangi Borgi postulate yagre when electron makes a transition means uh, from lower energy state to higher energy state, it absorbs energy. 
when electron makes a transition from lower lower energy state to higher energy state it absorb energy so the frequency of absorb or emitted radiation is ei equal to ei minus ef equal to h nu where nu is frequency of emitted or absorbed radiation so frequency equal to ei minus ef divided by h where h is plus constant now we substitute ei this is ei and this is ef now and uh, frequency is frequency frequency is speed of light divided by wavelength so instead of new we substitute by c by lambda equal to this and finally we get this 1 by lambda equal to m e to the power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square c h cube 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square and this is known as river constant and the value of river constant is 1.097 into 10 power minus 7 meter inverse now substitute this finally we get 1 by lambda is equal to this now using this relation using this relation we can calculate uh, when electron make transition so so first uh, in the in initial state n i n i is 2 3 4 5 and so on and n f is 1 and we use this because n f is 1 n i is 2 3 4 and so on and the first this is a first member and this and it lies in the uv region and this is known as lyman series so why do not gonna uh, putting n f equal to 2 n i equal to 3 4 5 6 and so on n i equal to 3 corresponds to first member second member third member fourth member and so on so i don't know gonna see my web link put up a i do see balmer series kawi balmer series lies in the visible region I don't know Pascan series, Pascan series calculator we I Pascan series lies in the infrared region and next is bracket series, bracket lie also lies in the infrared region then P pun, P pun lies in the IR region now this is spectral line spectral line this is spectral line of hydrogen atom now uh, so this is e1 ground state energy and this is uh, e2 first excited state energy and this is e3 and this is e4 and e5 e6 e7 e8 and so on we can calculate so the energy uh, ground state energy is minus 13.6 eb first excited energy is minus 3.4 eb now, uh, first excited state, 
ground state to jump to. Second excited state to give ground state to. Third to give ground to. Fourth to give ground. Fifth to give ground. Sixth to give ground. See the third river radiation. See what we know. Lyman series Kaui and Lyman series lies in the UV region. So, in as I say, so, according to first excited state to give ground state to jump to. See the inner radiation kaya am thadurakka ni hai taadi. E2 is minus 3.4 minus of minus 13.6 equal to h nu or h c by lambda so we can calculate lambda from this similarly second excited state ki ground state third excited state ki ground fourth ki ground fifth ki ground sixth ki ground and so on Siddha Thadurakpa radiation do, adubwa koi na Balmer series kawi and Balmer series lies in the visible region. Then madhang da, third excited state ki ground, second excited state, fourth excited state ki second excited state, fifth excited state ki second excited state. Shira Thadurva radiation dhubwa koi na Paskin series kawi and it lies in the infrared region. Adwain to na koi na bracket series, P1 series and so on. Adwain to na koi na calculate to vi. This is known as line spectra of hydrogen atom. Shiki matang da Mamang da hanggi ba da gi hangbaya ba hot question Si ki chapter si ki oina hot question Hapa ka ni Adu ga si ri si na theory parching ni Matang gi video da question solution Hapa ka ni